Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Passionate Kelsey and welcome back to another very passionate vlog. So, as I said in my last vlog, I would like to do a little bit of organizing or maybe start making some progress on my little messy, messy corner over here in my room. Just in case you haven't seen it in a while, there it is. It's not terrible, but the problem is it is starting to get past my closet door right here and I cannot get into my closet, which I need to be able to get into my closet because that is where I keep ready-made stock items and it's just, I need access to my closet, right? Okay. Our goal throughout this vlog is going to be using up some yarn that is over there, maybe going through it a little bit, maybe organize it, downsize it, squish it back <laughs> farther into the corner and just like it needs to be closet accessible yeah i have started making a, a tiny tiniest bit of progress right now i'm i'm making some bandanas as you can see what i did is i went and i pulled out my bag that contains all of the crafter secret cotton yarn that i have i pretty much have them most of them in a bag and I pulled out all of the yarns that I use to make bandanas consistently, which is these two rainbow ones right here. And then also this pink one, the color name is like crimson, something like that. But I'm gonna use all of these today, right now, to make some bandanas because they were over there in a box, in a bag, and now they're not, they're over here on my desk and I'm using them. And we're also creating stock with that, so. I'm doing my best. I started last night, also this morning. So far I have three of the rainbow bandanas made and I'm just making progress. I've already finished one off, so doing great. That's just what I'm starting with today because it's simple, it's easy. And then I also have some orders for bandanas, so I need to make them anyway, okay? Some other things that I would like to do that will contribute to getting rid of stuff that's over there is going to be listing some finished items that i have such as that skirt that we made also my granny square pants that we made also the granny hexagon pullover that is finished and just sitting on my mannequin none of those are on my website i don't know why i haven't put them for sale but i just haven't so i would like to do that that would be you know a good idea they're out about in my room because I haven't put them up for sale because most of the time, like I said earlier, I keep my ready-made stock in my closet. But if it's not listed on my website yet, then I don't put it in my closet because then if I put it in my closet, I'll forget that it's in there. So yeah, we just have a couple things laying about that are finished and ready to list. So we're gonna do that, hopefully within this vlog. There is another thing that I started in like the last two days when i haven't been blogging i was kind of like taking a little breaky break a little break i pulled out some yarn from those boxes do you guys remember these from any of my yarn hauls the big twist acrylic yarn from joanne i bought three of these each colors and i pulled out two of them and over the last two days i have been knitting some beanies with it so i finished these two guys this is my double stranded knit beanie i have a tutorial for it on my youtube channel if you're interested in how to make it but this is what it looks like whenever you double strand these two colors together i think it looks great what do you think hmm? but yeah i figured i would get started early and i wanted to do some knitting and knitting is just nice and relaxing so i picked up some yarn from the boxes happened to be these two and i made some beanies so these need to be put up for sale on my website as well and then if you remember not too long ago i made a video where i was like how many granny squares can i make in one day i still have all of those granny squares and i haven't done anything with them so i'm also hoping to maybe use these for something i think i'm going to make a couple tote bags we have 45 squares because i finished three skeins and they each made 15. i could make three tote bags i think and put them for sale these have been sitting on my desk for far too long. They need to go. Anyway, 
that's what we're doing. That's gonna be the goal for this vlog. So come along and crochet with me. Let me know what you're working on down in the comments. It's always fun. So our goal for right now is to make bandana triangles. I'm not gonna finish off the bandanas all the way, right now at least, but the main goal is to get rid of these three skeins of yarn right now. I'm making bandana triangles. I'm also watching the newest Smosh Reddit stories video. See you around. My name is yeah. Um I mean, mine also, I think, is a different... Yeah. It feels like a Bill Murray movie, like, honestly. Oh, yeah. So far for today, we're at six bandanas. And um, this one is used up not quite halfway. This one is still full, so I'm going to keep working on it. But right now, we're going to scoot out and grab some food. She likes the way I bangs like Sia. Bangs. Did you want that in the vlog? See ya. From the chandelier. Good. Kaiju number eight? Kaiju number eight, yeah. Improve on what things do they like, do they not like, etc. etc. I'm all about continuous improvement. I mean I just finished off the second skein of the rainbow bandana yarn and we had like pretty much exactly the right amount to make the last bandana. Overall, with everything that I had, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rainbow bandanas, which that's pretty great, gotta say. Now I'm going to go through this pink skein. And then I also was going to make some bandanas out of this yarn, this one, Big Twist Cotton. I thought it would be an interesting one to make the bandana out of this and then have the outline and the straps of the bandana either be like a dark purple or a dark blue to kind of go with these spots. Most of my bandanas have a light colored outline, which is like I usually do white or cream or on this one I do light pink. So I think having one with a darker outline would be a little bit fun. Also, I just bought a lot of these because they were on sale. I think they're like two for $3 or something. So these were $1.50 a piece. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them, but I think we could make some good bandanas, you know? Those were also in my boxes back there, of course. At some point though, we do need to transfer to making some scrunchies. So I think I'll probably do that after I finish off this pink skein. We'll see, we'll see. Guys, I finished the last little skein of the Crafter Secret Cotton, the pink one, and we made two, we made two more of the triangles. Lovely, I'm gonna put this on my stack. Here's how we're looking. Like I said, I'm not gonna be doing the outlines right now. I will do them eventually, but not right now. The pink, it made two and like 75% of a triangle so i'm just gonna save this until i go to hobby lobby and i buy another one and then i'll finish it up now it is 8 p.m i'm gonna spend the rest of my night working on scrunchies and we're gonna be working from our lilac juicy couture the big order that we just got i'm going to try attempt to complete two skeins every day which is only eight scrunchies, which is not like a terrible amount. I mean, like that's kind of like a really good amount, honestly. Um, but if I do two skeins every night, then the whole box back there will be gone in like a month, right? Two skeins per day, there's 60 of them. It would take 30 days. The first day I only used one and a half. So tonight I would have to use two and a half to be on my goal, I guess. <laughs> this goes with the video because the purple skeins are over here and we're using them. So I'm still on track, it's fine. I also, I put up a lot of these for stock on my website preemptively. So I am just packing the orders as I finish the scrunchies. I thought about like making all of the purple scrunchies and saving them so we could see them all together because it's gonna end up being 200 plus scrunchies. 
but I decided against that. It would be really cool for like a video and pictures and, and whatnot, but in reality, the main purpose is to make them and get rid of them because I don't have room in my room. So yeah, it would be a cool idea, but just not something that we're gonna end up doing. Anyway, let's go over here, pick up our little baggie for today. Tonight, I'm going to use up the rest of this half from yesterday, and I'm going to try to do these two. It's only eight o'clock, so I have some time. By the way, guys, I bought a big 100 pack of purple hair ties from Amazon so that I could use them on all of this purple yarn. And they are ever so slightly bigger than the regular ones that I buy whenever, just like whenever I'm at Walmart, you know? They're nice quality. I always give them a stretch before I start making the scrunchie just in case like they want to break on the first pull, but they're, they're really good, honestly. Anyway, there's this one and then there's these ones. This is the Goody brand. So here's the purple one and then here is the regular one that I use. You can put it right inside of there. It pretty much just fits like right inside. Like, like, I mean, it's just the tiniest bit bigger, the purple one. And I bought these before from Amazon because I've had these in the blonde color, but um, whenever I bought the purple ones, I didn't know it was the same brand because I didn't really want the bigger size ponytail. I mean, it's not like much bigger, but it is a tiny bit bigger. So I have been saying that they make three and a half scrunchies. It's because they make three and a half scrunchies on this size. But if you use the regular size ones, then they make four. I just wanted them to be purple so that I could match the yarn. It doesn't matter a ton. I've decided to sit on my couch and watch Shameless while we're working on scrunchies tonight. I one done. I am working on scrunchies still. Let's see, how many scrunchies have we made so far? So far I've made six scrunchies right here, right here. And I have uh, one that's like mostly done on my hook. We finished the half skein that we had from yesterday, one full skein, and I'm working on the third one. I'm not sure if I can finish it. Maybe one and a half is like, gonna be kind of what I do every day. Well, technically I've already done one and a half, right? Cause I did one full one and then I did the half from yesterday and I've already started working on this. So maybe tonight is two, but anyway, it is 11.14. I should be going to bed at some point, but we also just started watching the new Fallout series. We're just on the first episode, but so far very good. Lots of pausing and talking about the video game and the similarities and stuff. Anyway, just wanted to let you know, I'm still here and working and making scrunchies and whatnot. Neji is also still here, snoring. Okay, it's 12.15, so it's been a day. I did finish all three of the skeins that we had. Half was from yesterday, and then we got two full skeins today. So we are on track for doing two per day at this point, because I started yesterday. So in total, we made nine scrunchies today, and then there was like just a teeny bit left, which pretty much just went around the ponytail and then started <laughs> nine stitches or so. Anyway. I'm going to bed. Hello, hello, it's a new day. It's already 12.15. I just, I've been eating breakfast and then, you know, perusing social media. And then I was thinking about the fact that I haven't posted in like seven days and how I'm a terrible content creator. And then I made a TikTok and I just edited it and now I'm gonna upload it. Anyway. Today, what I would like to do is I would like to take some photos of things and get them uploaded and for sale on my website. Sound good? I'm getting sidetracked right now because I made a TikTok about our bulk yarn order. I just made a TikTok like basically talking about it and showing it off and whatever. But while I was talking about it, I forgot how much they cost. So I went on the Joanne's website to see how much they cost. And then I was like clicking through and I was like, 
why do some of them have the bold pricing and some of them don't? So I realized that it only comes in certain colors. So right now I am going through all the colors and writing down which ones come in bold pricing and which ones, I mean, I'm right, not writing down which ones don't cause that doesn't matter. But I don't know if they changed it or if I just like straight up didn't even realize that whenever I was buying it the first time because there is 20 colors but only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them come in bulk. Because if I do end up following my plan and using up two per day, they're gonna be gone in 30 days, I would like to put in another bulk order of a different color so I can do it again. So I was gonna go back and I was looking at the Coral Haze because that's a really popular color and I really like it. But sadly that one does not come in bulk. You can get Frothy Fawn, which is like a light brown color. You can get Lilac, which is the one we bought. You can get Electric Violet, which I mean, is pretty much exactly like it sounds. It's a really bright purple. Tint of Mint, which is good. I've used that one. Blue Crush is pretty. It's like really bright blue. Safety Yellow, which is safety yellow that is bright. And then Pink Diamond, which is like a pastel pink, which pastel pink could be good. I wanted Coral Haze, so I'm a little sad now. Anyway, let's do what we set out to do today, huh? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by taking photos of these two beanies that we have. They are the same, so I'm just gonna take pictures of one of them and then I will stock two for my website. Fold it up. Beauty. Now I need a head, which is conveniently in our pile of crap. There we go. Okay, back. There we go. Now we will edit and list. Chunky knit beanie, hand knit, 100% acrylic, stretchy fit, folded brim, faux leather tag, $30. Photos are uploaded. Inventory, we have two of them. Save. Processing and done for sale. Next, I have this thing, this little guy here. This is one of my water bottle carriers that I made whenever I was doing that collab with Snapple. This just doesn't have the Snapple bracelet thing on there. This is the one that I made whenever I was doing the video tutorial. I'm just gonna take some pictures and we're gonna put it up for sale. Roll it up. Should I take pictures with a bottle in it? Do you think like $15 is good for that? Yeah. Mm, yeah. That is done for sale. Next, we have this, this guy, this thing right here that's been sitting there forever. There are some ends that I need to weave in, just like right here, but other than that, it's finished. Pretty sure this is the one that I used to film the YouTube tutorial for. We're gonna do photo, we're gonna do a timer. Set it over here. I'm gonna lay it out, lint roll it, get a chest measurement, and edit the photos, and we can put it up for sale. Handmade crochet pullover, hand wash for best results. It says machine washable and dryable on the label, so that's what I'm gonna write down. But I always put like in a delicate bag on gentle, just in case, you know? Women's size, medium, large, and then I put in, it was 25 inches across, so it's like 50 inches in the bust area, and then it was 7.5 inches deep for the armhole and 17 inches long for the sleeves. I'm gonna sell it for $80. I have one available, and it is for sale. The next things that I think I'm gonna put up for sale is two bags that I found. We have this one that's been hanging on my door for some time. And I spot one over here in our big mess. This little white thing in the basket right there. 
It is also mesh. It's a bit smaller. It's got a solid bottom and then it has a drawstring at the top. I have no clue when I made that and I have no clue how long it's been sitting in my room. But before we do that, it is lunchtime, so I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna eat the rest of my chicken fried rice from yesterday. And what shall we watch? Hmm? Smosh Reddit stories it is. Guys, we got a package during lunch. <laughs> I think that this is the rest of our bulk order, which would be the Lily Sugar and Cream Cones. Yep. There they are. <laughs> uh, here we go. We should have 12 black cones in here. I think I'm just gonna leave them in the box for now. This is definitely just adding to our problem. <laughs> Next on the agenda is to take pictures of these two bags and put them up for sale. I feel like I probably made this for like a market or something and I just never sold it. This one's pretty big. Do we think that putting it on the mannequin will show like a good size reference? I mean, I'll put measurements in, but a lot of times I feel like people don't really know. For this white one, I feel like it's kind of like a little fruit bag or a produce bag. I'm gonna fill it up with yarn. Let's make these useful, hmm? Jeez, I'm tripping all over everything. These are like apple sized. <laughs> there we go take some pictures like that now time to edit and list those are officially listed and for sale on the website i made the bigger one the blue one 30 dollars and i made the white one 20. okay Mm, there are two things that are like staring at me in the face that I need to put up for sale, right? And it's these two things, which is this little pencil skirt that we made. And it is also these granny square pants that we've made. First of all, on the granny square pants, I know for a fact, as you can see, I have a bunch of ends to weave in on the inside. That's because I made them really fast for the turnaround time for the sponsored video. So I just, I never finished them fully, but did I finish the skirt? Oh, ooh, oh, I did. <gasps> okay, the skirt looks like it's ready to go. So do I have enough photos of the skirt? I know I have videos of the skirt, but like up close photo. You know what, right now, I'm just gonna lay this out on my desk right here. I'm gonna take a flat lay photo of it and that should be good. Other than that, I can just use pictures from when I was wearing it the first time when I made it. And I need to take measurements of it because that's gonna be important. I took a picture of it flat and it's like literally a square because there's no shaping in it. It just has the drawstring. But I, I feel an intense urge to like squish up the top of it to take the picture. <sighs> but I've heard people hate that from like Depop sellers and whatever. So we'll just go with the flat lay. Um, let's measure it. 19 and a half inches across. I am really so happy that that already had all the ends weaved in. Thank you to my past self. I'm gonna find some photos that I have from when I was wearing it and we're using the flat lay and I can go ahead and put it up for sale. So the skirt is listed and for sale. I put it up for 40 bucks. And the next thing that I could do would be the pants, but I have to be honest, I really, really don't want to. So we won't. Why don't we instead make another bag with our granny squares? I haven't crocheted anything all day. Well, okay, I put scallops on one bandana, but that's it. Let's make a bag. I'm going to use this color I'm gonna put them together in a 13 block style. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it, maybe, or maybe not. Maybe this is something new for you, I don't know. I have my soft white red heart yarn because the soft white is supposed to match with the white that's around the squares. And I used a six millimeter hook to make the squares, so I'll use a six millimeter to connect them and for the straps. 
I am gonna have to look up the layout and how to connect them because I do not remember even though I have made it before. I think first I'm going to go ahead and like, gonna use stitch markers and put them together in the right layout. I have officially used all of my stitch markers, but I pinned it together. This is what it looks like. I didn't have enough stitch markers to do like the whole thing, <laughs> but you get the idea, yeah? So I am now going to put the squares together. I am using a slip stitch to put them together. Hopefully it won't take too long. I just started seaming them together, but this color, the soft white is a little bit warmer than the yarn that's on the squares, which I do not like. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I can really tell with the lighting in my room. So I'm gonna try to use the regular white color cause that's a bit more cool toned and see if that looks nicer. It's definitely better. I don't know if you can tell, but it definitely is. So that's all. What do you think? Obviously, I've got to put the straps on it, but all of the squares are connected. It's looking quite lovely, I gotta say. I gotta say. But how's how's the shape? You like the shape? It's gonna have two straps, one on each side, and they're gonna come off of the corners here. Anyway, that's my plan. I'm going to go and I'm gonna put the straps on. Caesar is home from work now, and he is ready to watch more Fallout episodes, so I'm gonna do that. Move to the couch crochet the straps on here and then after that we will find a new project. If I finish this while the sun is still out, I will take photos and put it up for sale, but if not, we'll have to do it tomorrow. We finished our bag. Looks like we have enough daylight to take some photos of it and then we can get it listed. But here's how it turned out. I like it. I think it's a good size. At this point, I'm gonna take a break. It's 6.45, I'm gonna have some dinner, and then later tonight, I'll probably try to make some scrunchies. I took a break for about two hours. I just ordered us some food for dinner, and we're gonna keep watching Fallout. The rest of the night, I am just going to work on some scrunchies nonchalantly while watching TV. So we're gonna grab our yarn. I don't know if I'll make it through all two tonight. I'm kind of taking it slow just for my hand's sake and that's all. Hey. Okay, so last night I finished four scrunchies, made another one that's like mostly done, but I only used one and a half skeins of Juicy Couture, so like maybe like one and a half will probably be the average per day. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Not totally sure, but we also got some orders last night, including multiple of the items that we listed for sale yesterday. So I think we will spend some time packing. I have quite a few orders right now. We have 27 open orders, but a lot of them are lavender, nope, lilac scrunchies. So first of all, we sold our granny square tote bag. I am definitely happy that I finished it in time to take pictures of it yesterday and get it listed because it sold really fast. I wonder if this will fit. Maybe.
Okay, so we saw the pullover sweater, the skirt, and a large lily top. I wonder if this box will work. That's too big. So they're gonna go in here. This mesh bag plus a pair of lilac scrunchies. We also sold our fruit bottle carrier with two purple scrunchies. Now I'm just going to spend the rest of my day working on orders probably, most likely. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So. I mean, we didn't make a lot of progress on organizing our mess corner, but we did get quite a bit of items out of the room, I guess. Like I said, it's gonna be a slow process regardless because I don't want to sell any of that yarn. I don't want to give it away and I just need to use it. So using it is gonna be the sole process because in order to use it, I have to crochet things and crocheting things takes time. I would move it. I think a lot of people are expecting like a big video where I just spend the entire day cleaning my room and reorganizing and stuff like that. And um, I could, I guess, do something like that, but really it's more like they're on the floor there because I have nowhere else to put them. <laughs> so, um, the, the main problem is that I need more room. Making things and reorganizing slowly is going to be the best route. It's been a little bit. It's dark outside now. I went and picked up my brother. But I finished three of these rainbow bandanas because we have all the triangles sitting on my desk from earlier and I used up the rest of the half purple skein that we had yesterday and it made like almost two full scrunchies. I have to do like like literally six stitches to finish this one and it'll be done. Right now, I think that I'm going to pack some orders. Oh, but first I got a package. Got a package in the mail. This should be the green velvet yarn that I needed. And I realized it didn't get here with the other ones because I ordered this from Joanne, not Amazon. I forget. I put in a lot of orders, okay? Anyway, I got two of the Brunette Velvet Pine color because people love their greens. I had one of them. I made the whole thing and they were all gone really fast. But I mean, like, pretty much all of the colors are gone fast anyway. But, you know, green's a great color. So there it is. Somebody wanted a green. So I was like, I'm just, I'm just going to buy two. Lovely. At the moment, with the scrunchies that I have finished and these little bandanas, I just want to pack them up. I have been packing orders every night after I finish the lavender scrunchies. I'm not gonna film all of them. It'll just be like repeat, repeat because I have a lot of orders for lavender scrunchies. Not lavender, what is it? Lilac, They're both. it's purple, okay. The order that I need the green for is our oldest order, which was placed on April 1st. Technically, I wanna make that one, but I'll pack the other ones first. I've just been packing all of these orders every night as I finish the scrunchies because I like seeing the order number go down. It makes me feel like I am accomplishing stuff. Then I can also kind of just, it helps me keep better track of, of what's going on, what I've made, what I haven't made, stuff like that, if that makes sense.
well everyone that's kind of the end of this vlog so i don't know i think that we did make progress as far as sort of getting started on organizing the corner okay because we did sell a lot of things that i have been holding on to for some of them years months at the very least and just i've had them around for a long time i haven't been using them they've literally just been like sitting in my room and i don't know um but yeah i feel like we made good steps and also we had i i don't know some setbacks i'm gonna say because we did get a giant box of black cotton cones we also got some more velvet yarn it's like a it's a give and take situation but we're working on it um a lot of people suggested that i should make like a spreadsheet and keep inventory of my yarn and that is something that i want to do it's just not something that i'm gonna do soon but thanks for the suggestions it's probably something that i will end up doing like whenever i move because right now I have a lot of yarn and it's it's all kind of um, squirreled away, I would say. Like, yeah, a lot of it is out here, but a lot of it is also in these boxes and in bins and in the back corners of my closet. So I would have to like dig out and really pull everything out. So um, I mean, right now I'm just, I'm in an apartment. I don't plan on living here forever. So when I do move, then I will make a spreadsheet, but who knows when that's gonna be, right? Anyway, I hope you guys liked this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want more content from me. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. And peace. Bye.